Hey, pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very exciting video. In today's video, we are going to check out this stack that is $59.99 and does it all. Is that even possible? Let's find out. Let's go. All right, pilot. So here's the deal. I am blown away. For 60 bucks, you're telling me I can have a stack that can do it all. Most ESCs cost 60 bucks. Most ESCs cost 80 bucks. Most flight controllers cost 60, 70 bucks. If you want a full stack, you're looking at 100 bucks, 90 bucks, 80 bucks. You're up there. You're nowhere near 60 bucks for a full stack. Yes, it is a mini stack, which means it's 20 by 20. So I'm super excited to crack this puppy open and see what we got. So right here on the box, you can go ahead and see that this is called the F4 Mini Stack. It is V2, and if you go on the website and you find this product, and I'll put a link for you, but you can buy the ESC or the flight controller by themselves for about 31 bucks, or you can buy the whole stack for $59.99 and get it all. All right, let's see what we got inside. So when I open it up right off the top, you have your little manual download app dealio. Oh, oh, oh. God. I think it's beautiful. I really do. Their electronics are beautiful. And I just have an overall fascination for all of this stuff. But when I see it well done, and it just looks good. Let's go ahead and bust these out and see what we got. So here's our flight controller. Woo. Woo. Okay, we've got our ESC. I can see it already. It's got it all. So I'm going to set both of those aside just for a split sec. Let's pop this puppy open and see what comes inside. So we've got our accessories. So you can mount this M2. So if you're, you know, obviously it's 20 by 20, but most stacks support 30 by 30 or 20 by 20. But if you're running and you need M2, that's that guy right there, M2. If you are running M3, you can actually do M3 as well. So it comes with everything that you need to be able to do both, whether you wanna mount M3 or mount M2, that is your choice based upon your quadcopter. And the reason why this is important is because this guy here can go in a mini micro style drone, two inch, three inch, four inch, but you can also put it in a five inch. You don't wanna go on a heavy, heavy five inch build because yet it is only 35 amps. So don't let that fool you because I've got plenty of five inchers, even six inchers that have 35 amp stacks in them. If you wire them up nicely and pay attention and put on a nice capacitor, They'll handle it just fine, especially if it's quality products like what we got here. And it'll handle the juice. It's a six layer PCB board, two ounces. It's going to do just fine. I really don't see why it wouldn't handle it. If you're being crazy, then of course, you can expect the worst. So in the box, it comes stock with a XT30 connector, capacitor, and then your jumper to jump from flight controller to ESC. But keep in mind, you can run XT60 all day if you want to. It's just tight soldering, but all right, so we need to go ahead and dive in. I've showed you the board, it's beautiful, it comes with accessories, but you wanna know and I wanna know for 60 bucks, what kind of specs are we really getting? And there's gonna be only one way to truly be able to do that, and that is with the Scopey Scope. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, pilot, so let's go ahead and dive in real quick. I wanna take a quick look. I wanna start off with the ESC. This is the all new 35 amp mini V2 by Speedy B, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And look at all the features and look at everything on it and just look how beautiful it is. Uh, I don't know if the camera's doing justice, but they've got like a gold tint, like even here on the capacitors and then on your edge, you got this goldish, like everything is just so beautiful. All right, anywho, let's take a quick look. So we've got a beautiful LDO right here. You're lined up with MOSFETs. You're gonna notice this cutout. See that right there? And that's also gonna match on our flight controller. That is where your camera goes because sometimes your stack and everything is tight and your camera needs to be able to tilt back so you can get that degree that you need while flying. So they put a little cutout in the PCB so that way your camera's not hitting your board. Nice little touch if you didn't know about that. 
All right, if we continue on, you can see our BB2 chips. Those are absolutely beautiful. You've got plenty of filtration. Look at all these capacitors here. You've got your Speedy B BLS 35 amp mini. There's your arrow if you want to be able to set it in place and not have to uh, worry about your motor direction because that's what's gonna, you know, see right here how it says motor three. That is gonna place it so your motors are where they're supposed to be. No editing, no changing, but the simple facts are this is speedy b and everything that you want and need to do you can do wirelessly right from your phone we've gone over this before i can show you again if you really need me to but i don't think you do it is the speedy b app you download it and you do it all wirelessly out in the field there is a bluetooth module and i'm going to show you on the flight controller on this stack that connects to your phone's bluetooth <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. It really is. All right, so continuing on, we're going to go ahead and flip the board over. You can see that we've got the rest of our MOSFETs lined up. We've got our connector right here. Something absolutely beautiful. You can see that there is, it may be hard to see, but there's like a, a glue or conformal coating all up on here, all up on here, and it's holding everything. It's keeping everything from getting, you know, touched or hit or bent or exposed, all that awesome stuff. And then you've got your AGA cable right here. You can see that. That is what is going to jump up to your flight controller and bring all these pads right here that you have laid out. God forbid you break this or if you just want a hard solder, you can. All right, that's absolutely nice. And let's go ahead and take a look at these pads. They're kind of hard to see, but look at that. You can solder on top, you can solder on the bottom, and you can solder to the side, okay? These are beautiful pads ready to go to war. And for your main connector, you've got your, your positive, you've got your negative, and then you've got these two little holes. If you're unsure what that's for, that is to put a capacitor in. I will just grab one just to quickly demonstrate. You go ahead and slide that in. So I just slid my capacitor in and then you can bend it down like that. And then when you solder up your XT60, your capacitor is gonna be in good and strong. With this ESC, you've got the uh, TDK filtering, SMT capacitors, and onboard TVS diode protection. So you're gonna see right here on the side of this flight controller, well, there's our boot button. We'll look at that after, but you've got four LEDs right here. One, two, three, and four. And they are actually a light indicator of your battery level. And we've seen this before on their full-size flight controller, but now for only 60 bucks it is being put on their mini flight controller you can't beat it so if you're unsure of your battery which obviously you can use your battery checker you can look in your goggles you've got ways to find out but what a better way than to just look at your flight controller real quick i got one bar two bar three bar four bars and now i know where my battery's at with just a quick little peek i mean that's pretty cool it really is so continuing on you've got your support and I'm going to show you where that's at. It is right here. And you're going to see that right here. S bus G for ground, R1, T1, ground, and 9 volts. So this right here is going to be everything that you need to power your O3 air unit or your Vista or your OG uh, DJI air unit. You can connect all of them right here. If you need full voltage, you just skip over this nine volt pad and grab this battery pad right here. Absolutely awesome. You've got a 4.5 volt pad. That is gonna be for GPSs and things like that. You got your DACL T6. This is another UART. You've got four UARTs on board, okay? You've got your VTX if you're running old school analog and in that effect yes you know what that is i've showed you before this is a beta flight osd chip so what i do want to do is i want to take a quick look at our pad so if i keep rotating you're going to see over here well let's look at it from the top side this is that cutout we just talked about see how it's kind of chopped down right here that is for your camera so what did they do they also gave you all of your camera connections up here by the cutout so you can put your camera there <laughs> genius it really is and then that stacks with your board if i show you that you'll see the cutout matches up both just like that all right so there you go so let's go over those pins real quick you probably don't need me to but five volt ground there's your camera you've got your camera control 3 volt pad, 3.3, .3, ground 4.5 pad, 
R2, T2, very important because this is what you're going to possibly be running down here and notice S bus is on R2. That is very nice. There are a lot of times I am wiring up to the S bus pad and now I've got to go play guess which port it's on. You don't have to do it. Well, I can look up the manual. There's other ways to find out, but the facts are they, they just wrote it on there for us, which is a nice touch. It's on the silk screen. They didn't have to do that. All right. And then you've got T3R3, another UART, buzzer minus, buzzer plus right here. So that's for your buzzer. And then, wow, are you telling me there's a second location for my S bus? Well, how nice. Okay. All right. Let's wrap this up. We're going to flip it over. You're going to say, Drayman, well, Look at this, and this, and this, and this. Yes, that is a 9-volt back on board, and then right here you've got a 5-volt back on board. That is nice. That is a lot to cram on this little tiny board. It really, really is. There's our beautiful F405 STM32 board. See it, right, Joe? And it is arm brand, which I do like to see, ST. All right, pilot. so that is pretty much going to be all the specs from this beautiful board. The only thing that I want to go over that you're missing from the full-size board, which you really can't expect much more. I mean, for 60 bucks, I'm already blown away. But the only thing you're really missing is you don't have your Wi-Fi, which you would normally have on your other board based on that chip, and you won't be able to flash firmware from your Bluetooth, and you won't be able to look at your black box from your Bluetooth. Uh, from your full-size board, you can, but on this one, you just simply can't, and that's okay. You can still do everything else. You've got your eight megs on board. You've got everything else. You can change your motor direction, all of your other parameters you can change. The only thing you can't do is that ordeal right there, okay? You also don't have a plug-and-play for your air unit, whether you're O3, Vista, or OG, doesn't matter, you will have to solder up those wires on this end and then plug into your air unit on the other end. So it would be nice to have that built in, but uh, you can only do so much on 20 by 20 and they have literally crammed it all. I mean, just, just look at that. All right, pilots, that is going to do it for the Speedy B F405 Mini V2 stack. It is only $59.99. Go pick one up. It does it all. It's got 4 to 6 S LiPo, 45 amp burst on the ESC. You can run D-Shot 300 or 600. It does it all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. <laughs>